It was a chilly morning October twenty-twenty. I had a nice weekend off from work and I spent both of my nights off talking to my honey. Now you might believe it to sound a little bit insane, but I used to like to unload my brain and record folk news and voicemails and leave this little twisted fangirl trick all kinds of misplaced mental shit from my brain. I was having such a good time feeling no pain. I just spent two evenings constantly entertaining my audience of one. And my audience of one and done was done. I had to run back. Now, I had 60 hours of sick time, and I probably should take the mind, but I had this fatal flaw where I figured my work needs me to lay down the law, because I did problem solve my head down the dock. That's why I don't got bitches on lock, I got bitches on the dock. Because me and Steins, we cut that bitch in half, and got two JSs, baby. Let's do the math. But anyways, on my way to work, I was a little bit of a jerk. I had underestimated the toll that Asian had taken on the secret Asian man. So as I drove to work, I was fighting off the demons of sleep. I was driving down Golf Road past Oakton Community College. Right before power where the cars were stopped, my eyelids had dropped. Next thing you know, I awoke with a bam, and I found out that God had a plan. But there is only one woman whose bumper I shall touch. And touch I did. I left a little scratch it. Looked like a little rash. Meanwhile, my car's whole front end was backed in from this crash. Now, I probably hit it going about 40. I got a scar on my leg. You no, know, it could have been much worse, Lord, Lord. I ran out and made sure she was okay. I couldn't touch her and do anything that could be misconstrued as gay or shrewd or whatever the kids call it. Back, she was pressed for time, she said. She didn't want to wait for the cops. She was more than annoyed. She wished that I could have avoided that fate. And I love my little Chevy Sonic. I used to go on TikTok and do the bubonic on it. And God damn it, where did my beat go? I can't even get this in my MP3 player. So we'll just recycle. Let's say, okay, player, now listen. I have a little confession, act of contrition to put before you, Lord. I promise you, Lord, if you give me another trance to drive, no other woman's bumper shall I touch hers. The cops eventually arrived and told them what happened. I felt like I needed to cry, but I still had to get Didn't want to let on that he was sad. I didn't think my car looked too bad. They said it wasn't worth saving. Meanwhile, the lady whose bumper happened to get scratched said, Hey, you know, I gotta go. Can we just back to something? The cop was like, Yeah, I think you're pretty good. She busted you, busted me, and got back to her life. I said, Lord, Sorry for all the strife and pain I have caused. If you can listen to the remorse from these jaws, let me tell you that with most certain purity in my cause, no woman's bumper shall I touch but hers. Then months later, I got the word. Day after 
taxi went to the hospital and got served some kind of treatment. He left my insurance company. Fifty thousand dollars wasn't enough. She needed to get for at least a hundred or a hundred and fifty. I mean she was sitting on a fucking gold mine here like Rob the Boy of it. Um Jay, man, why couldn't I just Quality of life is down the hole. Her whole life is ruined because I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't take the sick time. I only had 60 hours. If I would have just taken one person a day, I would still have that car. I would still be making awesome content today. But I'd be missing all the pictures I take on the walk. And this six minute song wouldn't be worth a piece of shock. And I prayed to the Lord. I said, man, if I be in this woman's life, I'll give her all that I could afford. Except my 401k. I do some retail therapy recently. But hey, that was just craziness of Satan releasing me for a little bit of holiday. But listen to God. Holla. Hey, big fan. Love your sense of humor. And, you know, the old board, yeah, you know what's up. High five at Cleo and that the whole crew. Now let's get back and finish up the song before it's an eight minute zoo. I'm still waiting man, for her deposition. They're telling me I gotta go for my influence to the downtown office. I don't know if I should cry or if I should lie. I don't know if I should say she deserves everything she but the general consensus between me and my legal team is this bitch is full of shit. She just realized she had me in a situation where she could get a bunch of free money. And trust me, she wasn't hurt. She was annoyed. She had to wait five minutes to leave. And god damn it, Winamp, what the fuck? This is not couth. This beat needs to be continuous. But I assure you, in the most personal sense possible that no other woman's bumper shall I touch but hers because she possesses the ability to take all of my financial future I'll never get back home across from the mosque I'll never be able to have a girlfriend in my arms and just stop time and make little rhymes pit a patter in the basement aka city afterwards It'll be okay, we just got to go emotions, but still, I made a covenant to the Lord. I said maybe it was because I was driving a Chevy, I should have been a fool in a truck, man. Super duty, F-150, learn to drive, but then again, if I would have used my sick time, she'd still be alive, because I think this bitch is clearly got to be dead, but out of her head. Oh, um. 
HTTP www.youtube.com slash user USER slash Cineclipse S I N I C A L Y P S E for the exciting update. How much of my life will this bitch get to take? I'd still pay it all, state. And my lawyer's great. But I don't know if they want me to give a performance in tears, like give her what she needs and be like, dude, this bitch couldn't wait to leave. She's full of shit. I don't know, but my parents got me psycho. 11 minutes of this shit? Damn, Jen, learn how to walk on a tightrope. 